So Mark, uh, how excited are you to be back in the UFC? Well, you know, it's been probably four or five years since I've been there, so I'm definitely excited. Basically, I, I believe this is where the 145 division always should have been. You know, been, been, a bunch of be been a bunch of best in the UFC. Right, I remember after your uh, last fight in the UFC, in uh, 2006, you spoke about how like uh, you wanted Dana White to bring the 145 pound weight class in. Yeah, for sure. I remember that. Like after my one fight with uh, Eve Edwards and, and right. uh, Joe Rogan made the comment. You know, I hope, one, or I'm sure one day they will. You know, the day's finally here. So, you know, the main thing for me, I think, is just about credibility. You know, like you right. know, having to tr explain about the WC, how it's, you know, it is the best in the world for the weight class, and now right. you, you're going to be recognized that with the, with the UFC brand. Now you've fought in the UFC twice, you're undefeated there. Do you think that gives you an edge over WEC featherweights who've never fought there? You know what? Yeah, for sure. Like it, it, the one thing that is going to be the main problem, I think, on a you know technical aspect, is the size of the cage. You, right. you know, the UFC cage is, is huge, uh, and it's, it's like you know probably about another quarter of the size of what the WC cage and UFC cage. So it's there's a lot more room to play, and, and it favors the striker uh, who likes to move and use footwork. You know, because in a in a smaller cage, the wrestler can pin you against a wall. You, you know, really shrink shrink the size of that map. Now, uh, your next uh, fight, George Rue, what are your thoughts on that fight? You know what, it, it's, it sucks i got to fight a training partner. I've, I've trained with him for the last three years. We're friends outside the cage, but, you know, we've we, we got to put that aside and get it done. Um, I, I know what he brings. He knows what I bring. So, I, you know, that we both have that advantage going into the fight. But it, it's going to be an exciting fight. You know, he, he's one of those guys, he, he's hard to put away. He's fought some tough guys, and, he, you know, he's going to be there until you, you put him right out cold. Now, if you get the W, do you think you're going to get the title shot? Uh, I was offered the title, title shot January 1st. It was supposed to be the first fight. Um, with, the, with the UFC and WC merging with the right. title, and I think that's why they wanted me is because I had fought in the UFC, and I, you know I, I was, you know I, I think deserving of the shot anyways. But uh, you know what, get this win and be, uh, get that title shot. And Aldo and Grisby are fighting for the featherweight title. How do you see that fight going? Who do you think's gonna win? I, you know, Aldo's just got too many tools. Uh, I think he's seen everything that Grisby is, is brand, but. Chris is one of those guys that you can't sleep on. You know, I was, I was one of those guys, you know, you just you not look past him, but you just, you don't, there's not too much threat. You know, like really, what what is he? Is he a jiu-jitsu guy? Is he a striker? And he comes out and finishes guys. He, he's, he's he, like, he is a sleeper, but I mean, Aldo is the man. And he, he's kind of seen it all, except my style. The right. With, with uh, you know, good stand-up skills. He's going to be in your face and ready to throw down. That's a, that's a fight a lot of people want to see. How, how do you think that would go? I, I think, you know, like, he, he's going to... I'm better than him on the feet. You know, like, he, he, like I'm not trying to be arrogant, but he's a good striker. I'm a great striker. You know, like, I've been over, overseas. I fought. Yeah, I've won, won North American titles in kickboxing. You know, like, I have the credibility in the aspect of the stand-up part where he, I feel, he's just very athletic and, and a, he's a very good striker. But he's never faced someone who has, like, a technical ability like me. And finally, you know, you've fought in a lot of cities in your career, but how badly would you like to fight in Toronto? Well, you know what, that'd be, that'd be nice here in Aldo versus Hopnick in, uh, in Toronto. And, right. you know, there's a good possibility. Excellent. Uh, best of luck in your next fight, and thanks a lot for your time. Thanks,